border pipe set in line so they'd have a folded base drum. What that means is the bottom section of the drum is three tubes in which are connected and allow you to have a very deep drum in a compact length. And I've got one on this set of pipes. This, this, this section here has three bores within it so that you go up and then down and then back up uh, and finally come out. So if the drum should be about that long really uh, where it's not folded up. And it gives me a nice, very satisfying sort of low bass note. So I'm going to put that on as well. You can hardly hear it, but it just sort of adds a little, just a few harmonics here and there. I'm going to play a couple of tunes. Uh, the first one is uh, a tune called Border Spirit. Uh, and the second one is a hornpipe, a uh, Prandtlox hornpipe. Border Spirit is a pretty unconventional tune. Um, it is a sort of capital offence to lift more than one finger at a time from the chanter on these things <coughs> or to, um, to slur the notes, unless you play Border Spirit, in which case, because it sounds so uh, effective perhaps, you are allowed to slur one or two of the notes. So, I'll just... Uh,
So now I'm going to read to you Madrones, and this is a thing which um, small pipes players have had the involvement this don't usually do. Every now and again people uh, change up to B minor or whatever. But Northumbrian pipers um, do it uh, really quite frequently. And uh, in fact each of these drones uh, will play two no either two notes or possibly three. Um, either by pushing the uh, drone slide up, or in fact in the case of these two drones, by opening a rotary valve on the side of, of the drone to shorten the ball. Uh, now, I'm going to read you the play of D. Um, was broadly speaking created by people who wanted to play um, fiddle tune rock tunes influenced by fiddle music around time side uh, in the early part of the 19th century. Um, these things were not invented or even played or not by sort of rustic shepherds up in the Chibi Hills or whatever. But they're an urban instrument created by skilled craftsmen living in and around time side and played at least initially by pretty wealthy people who could afford to, to pay to have the instruments made. You know, they're, they're not some kind of backcountry thing knocked up on a converted sewing machine out to the genius. <laughs> they, they never work. Um, I'm going to play a tune in D then. This is um, a, a tune called Lucy Campbell. And um, Lucy Campbell, like the tune occurs all over the place. There's all sorts of different types of tunes, from Scatspear and Reels and Jigs and all sorts of stuff. Now, this is a, 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 a set uh, with some variations. Uh, written by a player called Tom Clough, who was the most influential single player uh, of, of the last century. Uh, and we're very fortunate to have had his manuscripts and some recordings and so on, and he taught a lot of people. And you know, he is the man, basically. Uh, 